The legislative session is two months away, and public education advocates are making the case now that Mississippi can and should spend its money investing into the future. 12 News' Richard Lake has more on whether or not that we could see more funding go to Mississippi schools. With nearly $740 million in state funds available, the Parents' Campaign and State Senator David Blunt believe the smartest investment would be in education. We know that all kinds of things improve for everyone when we have a well-educated citizenry. We know that the future of Mississippi depends on whether we have a strong workforce, where we have an educated workforce, and that starts with K-12 through public education. And the state has money now, and we need to invest that money in public education. Schools could use extra funding to lower class sizes, increase teacher pay, and bring in extra tutors. In past investments into public education, teachers and students have shown it is a worthwhile investment. An increase in literary scores came after an investment in reading and writing coaches. We are now at the national average in our national test scores in fourth grade uh, reading. But that's because of an investment in our children. If we can make the investment, we'll show that progress. According to Senator Blunt, bipartisan support on education is possible. We passed the biggest teacher pay raise bill in history uh, earlier this year. That was done in a bipartisan way. Uh, so I think there is support there, and we've just got to continue to make that a priority. While many legislators are focused on health care, infrastructure, and possible tax cuts for this next session, Loom believes there should be enough money to go around. The good news is that there really is plenty of funding available to do all of those things. We really don't have to make very hard choices this year. Reporting in Jackson, Richard Lake, 12 News.